exclusive details tonight regarding Patty Baena's house in Bakersfield. NBC 4LA has acquired real estate records that paint a very surprising story about the financing of that house. Gordon Tokamatsu joins us live right now. Gordon, what have you learned? You've seen the documents? Yes, well, you know, Colleen, after the housing crash, uh, banks got really picky about who they were lending money to in mortgages. Mildred Baena managed to get one all by herself on her retirement income, and then she went out and bought a house. So in July 2010, Mildred Baena contacts Alex Guerrero, a Bakersfield realtor, to buy this house. The price? $268,000. During their conversations, Guerrero hears about Baena's connection to the governor of California. And nothing, just that she worked for him, that she was a nanny. Nanny, housekeeper, whatever her position in the Schwarzenegger household, she was leaving his employ. We don't know exactly how much she was being paid, says realtor Mark Salzman, but the house's price, the title documents, well, those give us a glimpse. There's a lot you can glean from these kinds of numbers, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. The deed says Baena took out a $219,000 mortgage on the house, choosing not to pay in cash. Hers is the only name on it. Schwarzenegger's is not. Salzman, who did not work on the deal, but has 25 years' experience in the California real estate market, says we can thus calculate what she's paying. She put down uh, a little more than 20%. You're probably looking at somewhere between two and 2500 a month to afford that kind of a payment. That's mortgage alone. Yeah, mortgage alone. But that doesn't even include all the other costs of home ownership. Property taxes, insurance, maintenance on the yard, and the swimming pool out back, just to name a few. If you're the lender, Saltzman says you've got to calculate whether she's a good risk, able to pay without defaulting. Between three, thirty, two hundred a month. Uh, income, exactly. The income that you would get to, to be able to afford the home. Of course, the lender would also look at other sources of income, such as trust funds, inheritance, even lottery winnings. But the bottom line is, a retired housekeeper nanny got a loan to buy a $268,000 home with no co-signer. So the bank would not have green-lighted this loan unless Baena was pulling in at least $36,000 a year in her retirement income. And uh, Salzman does say that, uh, you know, she could have gotten a monetary gift of some sort to help her qualify, but the name and the source of that gift would not have appeared on this particular set of documents. Live in Northridge, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC L4LA. Thanks very much, Gordon. And now from one 